Hi, my name is Becca and I work for Bobby Bullock Medical Aesthetics and today I'm going to be getting the Perfect Derma Peel. It's my first peel that I've ever done, so I wanted to do a little blog and share with you guys my journey. Um, it's a seven day peel and so I'm going to be recording each day and showing you my progress. Um, the peel is supposed to be helping with fine lines and wrinkles and it helps collagen production. Um, it also helps brighten and controls acne as well. So I'm really excited and I can't wait for you guys to see um, how the results turn out. We are going to do the pill on Becca. She's a Fitzpatrick too with her green eyes and her pink skin. I've already put the prep on it which is why her skin is nice and pink and reactive. So this peel we're going to put on in layers and we're going to be watching to see what her tissue is doing. This really needs to be put on by a professional because I'm really looking to see what is the skin doing? How is it responding? How is she responding? It can be a little hot, like a chili pepper, and the product has an anesthetic in it. And so after a couple of minutes, you really don't feel anything. So I'm looking for her skin to pink up even more than it is. And you can see that the peel is actually orange. And so she's going to have this orange hue, kind of like a pumpkin. Go ahead and pull your lip down like that. Pull your lip down, there you go. So I've put on one layer and I've not double backed on it. And so we're just gonna see how our skin is doing. Becca, how are you feeling? Is it, what are you feeling? It does feel very hot. Yeah. But then once it's like an all over feeling, it gets a little bit more tolerable. On a scale of one to 10, with 10 being excruciating, what's, what's your sensation? Like a five. All right. Yeah. So her skin is doing really well. I'm looking at it and I don't see any frosting, which happens when the skin is dead or damaged from acne, um, dry skin, skin that needs to come off. And so I'm going to go ahead and put on a second layer. And we just keep putting layers on until I either see those indications that we need to stop or the product is no longer being absorbed on our skin and it's just sitting on top of it, um, or we use up all the peel. One of those three things will happen. So as I'm applying this, are you feeling the topical anesthetic set mm -hmm. in? Yes. And where would you rate your pain at this point? Now, right after you first put it on, it gets a little bit more of like a six to a seven and then it mellows down to a five. Perfect. And is that what you're feeling now? Yes. Great. All right. So again, I'm putting one layer on and she opted not to have her neck, um, but we can do face and neck or we can do neck and decollete, depending on really what you're wanting to have done. And her skin is doing great. I don't see any frosting at all. She takes good care of her skin. Becca, I know, follows the Beautiful Skin RX program. And so she has a lot of natural exfoliation and uh, great products on her skin. So it's looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and do another layer. So this is our third layer and I'm using quite a bit of a scrubbing motion. She's feeling a lot of pressure as I'm putting this on. And so I'm giving a natural exfoliation, really wanting to get that peel to soak in and penetrate the epidermis. If it's just lying on the skin, you'll get too light of a peel. And we're really in charge of this. If she just wanted a very light peel, we could have just put one layer on, but she wants, she wants a deep peel and to get some great results. All right. Becca, how is your pain right now? Well, like a seven. All right. So we're going to use the fan and get her to cool off. And I can see a little bit of frosting on her forehead. If you want to come in here in your forehead, do you see this white right here? So this is where um, she has some dead skin. You can just see that tiny little bit of frost. It kind of looks like a, uh, a little bit of ice on there. And then you can see she's getting some frosting right here on her cheek as well. You can see where that skin is turning white. So she is going to have some great peeling and some great results. So I think we're gonna stop right there. Good morning, everyone. I just woke up and I'm gonna go wash my face. And I just got the peel yesterday, the Perfect Derma peel. 
So you sleep with it on, sometimes you can wash it off. You just have to have it for six hours on your face. And so I decided to sleep with it on. I had a little bit on my hands when I woke up this morning, so I went ahead and washed that off, but it won't harm anything. And I'm gonna go wash it with the Gentle Foaming Cleanser from Epiance, and then the after kit that is paired with the peel um, includes a towelette and a moisturizer. So I'm gonna be putting that on my face and I will check back with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, so I just finished washing my face and I used the recovery kit also. It looks like this guy um, it comes inside with a towelette. It also comes with a moisturizer and a sunscreen. It has SPF 50 and you definitely wanna make sure to apply that on, especially if you're gonna be outside in the sun at all. Um, it's recommended to stay inside, but if you are going to wear a hat, be protected. Um, so I'm gonna go for a run and I'm gonna put a hat on and hopefully see my face start peeling in a couple days. Hey everybody, this is day four of my Perfect Derma Peel. I'm experiencing some peeling finally. It took till this morning, which is pretty normal. Um, I'm also making sure to use that moisturizer that came in the kit, as well as the sunscreen to keep my skin protected and then the um, moisturizers to hydrate. I'll show you where I'm peeling. It's around the areas that I've been moving the most. My forehead hasn't experienced any peeling yet, but it is super tight and so I'm expecting it to in the next day or so. I'm around my chin isn't too much, but it is, um, getting there this is the left side of my face you can kind of see it around my cheeks a little bit around my nose and then on the right side of my face this is where i'm experiencing the most peeling i'll zoom in there for you guys and then my forehead you can see it's super super tight up there but it should start in the next couple days but yeah those are what i'm experiencing on day four and stay tuned for more Hey everybody, this is day seven of my Perfect Derma Peel. I'm really happy with the results that I have received from this seven day process. Uh, my skin is not peeling anymore. I experienced the most around my mouth and around the sides of my nose. Um, not really too much on my forehead. I had a little bit around my scalp right here, um, but wasn't too crazy. Uh, my complexion looks really, really good on day seven. I also, my skin is super, super soft. The redness marks that are on the left side of my face um, have gone down. I did get a few breakouts, but that's just normal, um, having your skin get used to something. Um, but yeah, so I'm really, really happy, and I'm really stoked that I got to share my journey with you guys.